So in your comfortable seat, with your eyes closed, as we begin to kind of prepare our mindset for the practice, this vinyasa and yin practice, I want you to begin to find your breath. So on your inhale, find your breath through your nose and kind of fill up the belly. And then as you exhale, let yourself really empty out. And just kind of notice your breath this morning. You don't even have to try to fix it or change it. Just want you to notice. And then two more like that. So inhaling through your nose, nice and deep. And one more time, full breath in. And as you exhale, just let your mind begin to clear. Good. So with your eyes closed still, bow your chin to your chest and start to move your head from side to side. Keep your low belly slightly in. Good, moving your head from side to side. And then we'll let the head turn in a circle in one direction three times. You can take it really slow, just kind of noticing your neck and shoulders. Good. One more time around in this direction. And then you'll go the opposite direction, circles with your head three times. You can widen your jaw if you're feeling a little stuck within the jaw now. Make sure you're noticing your shoulders kind of hanging off of the throat, right? So really just pulling away from your neck and throat. One more time around, please. Good. And then your chin will land toward your chest. Take a deep breath in that space behind the back of the neck. You could fill that up. And then empty it out. Good. And then you're going to lift your chin really high. So you're going to look up at your ceiling or your sky, wherever you are today. Swallow to notice the muscles of the throat working. And then lift your bottom jaw past your top teeth. So bottom teeth pull away and lift from the top teeth. Good, take a nice breath here. Let your shoulders relax. Good, and then your uh, gaze will come forward and you can blink your eyes open if your eyes are still closed. Good, all right, thank you all so much for being here. Um, so now you will uh, come into your child's pose. So roll over your shins, allow the knees to wide and bring your arms forward. So you can bring the arms out stretched all the way, or you can bend the elbows or even have your forehead on top of your hands. So today we're going to start with a yin practice. I'll use my phone a bit to time it. And then we'll complete the practice before Shavasana with a little bit of yang movements. Good. So allowing your head to really heavy here. And feel free, of course, to move around within the shape a little bit. Sometimes that's necessary to allow yourself to kind of let go within the pose. So child's pose, knees are wide, length of the spine long, arms can be extended, or you can have your hands close to your head or under your forehead. We'll find our breath. Good. Just keeping in the pose, knowing that Within this type of practice, this online practice, you don't have to see everything. This is really opportunity to brighten your listening skills. And if there's something that you feel that you've missed, you let it go. If you have the recording option, you can always go back. And if you don't, you let it go. We'll be here a little bit longer here. So within this child's pose, um, I'd like to set the theme for the practice today. And the theme is really about coming into your silence. And within that silence, allowing your truth 
to be heard. Whatever that is. Big breath through the nose. Nice long exhale. <sighs> so last night, um, in my own practice of silence, I recognized, I felt the truth of the loss that I still feel from losing, um, from losing my dog. And it still surprises me. I've never really been much of a person to be very clingy to the affection of animals. So find your breath. And within that bud of truth, missing his presence here and how he really affected my life on a day-to-day -day basis, made me remember, recall the other loss that I've had in my life and to sit with it to allow it to come, to wash through, to really sit with the truth of that. Good. So a few more cycles of breath. You're doing great. Nice and deep, steady, heavy, yin. I had a conversation with a friend who Within this silence of this time in our lives, the season, because that's what it is, a season. She lost her father at the very beginning of all of this, so about two months ago. And um, really came to her pretty heavy yesterday. And it's because she's kind of wrapped herself in a very quiet living right now not working, not seeing many people. And we spoke about really allowing yourself to find your truth within the silence. Good. So one more deep breath here, please. Good. So if you'll gently come forward from your child's pose and, you know, really embrace this kind of achiness that you'll feel, especially when we start in, in the morning, uh, before any all movements. But if you'll come to tabletop and turn your toes under for a moment and then pull your belly in so you're really lengthening out this low back, the belly button pulls in. And then I'm going to push my hips back towards my heels. I'm, Pulling my heels in close towards each other. They don't have to touch. And then you're going to pull your chin to your chest and pull the belly in deeper and take a breath. Good. So arms are long. Hands are heavy. Head is heavy. Just another breath or two here. Kind of the smaller shape of arms still extend. Good. So you can feel the breath move kind of through the armpits and the width of the lats. Good. One more. Good. And then we'll come forward. And we're going to step our right foot forward. So the right foot's going to come forward. So make sure that you're on some train tracks. If you had a prop, you could use a prop here for hands. If you don't have a prop, um, you'll bring your hands down to the earth, right? So we're going to turn our left toes under and start to walk our knee back. And remember, we're going to be here for several minutes, and so you don't need to go uh, to the most extreme right off the bat. You can grow into it. You'll release your left toes, pull the belly in for a moment, and take a few breaths just to kind of feel the space and the shape. And then you'll close your eyes, and you can just head down into your hands as your hips begin to loose more and more. If they do, you could come down to one or both forearms. Good. So this lounging lizard, I'm gonna turn the clock on here. Take some nice deep breaths. Lounging lizard in great shape. Relax your jaw. <sighs> I'm 
Relax into the posture. Good. So my experience of last night, conversation that I had with my friend, feeling tones of my, you know, grief, um, allowed me to, uh, as I was sitting with it, to choose a book off my shelf. Um, this is a poem from, uh, it's called 10 Poems to Set You Free. And at the end of the practice, I'm going to read a bit from it. It's very short. But it's a poem called In Silence by Thomas Merton. Just perfect for today's theme. Let's see if you can relax in a little deeper. Let yourself get a little more heavy. You can. And, you know, within this kind of itchy or edginess, maybe it is the silence of this type of practice. Just let yourself notice what is true for you, right? In all that you're experiencing within the pose. And as we transition to more of a yang practice, you'll notice what is true for you within the transitions of the pose, right? That's what the yang is, transition. But you're doing great. You're almost there. You have um, about a minute, a little over a minute to go, a minute and a half. If you are one with a very busy mind and still busy lifestyle, wow, yin can be extra challenging. Good. Breathing in, breathing out. In your silence, notice what is true for you. In all that you experience within the shape, within your practice, and then absolutely outside the practice. This is a very transferable practice. That's why we do. That's why we show up to it. About six more breaths here. I'm going to let you know when it's time to come out. Good. A little deeper now, just a few more breaths. Good. Last big breath in. Let it go. Good. So come back to your hands if you're on the forearms. Pull the low belly in to pick the hips up. And then you'll begin to walk your hands back. You'll let your right uh, foot leave the mat and toes might be up. And then we'll take a few breaths here. We'll be here for just about maybe 30, 45 seconds. But just dig that right heel in a little bit and bow down. You should feel not just length of the right leg, but length of spine here. Let your head heavy, relax your shoulders. Go a little deeper. One more deep breath here. And then you'll begin to walk your hands forward again, and we're going to come into half pigeon on the side. So you'll walk your right foot across the mat. If you have a knee or hip uh, issue that is, this is too heavy, especially to be in it for a long time, come to your back, please. Otherwise, you'll stay facing the floor. Uh, left foot reaches back, right knee off the hip, so it's out to the side. And then you'll come down to your forearms, Untuck the left toes. Again, here, if you have a prop, you can use a block under the forehead or even under the right hip or the sternum. 
You don't have the prop. You'll have to use the ground. So absolutely, again, you need to shift a little side to side. You need to flex the front foot a little bit. Extend the left leg longer. Play with moving the belly. Right, to settle yourself down in the pose. We've got you on the clock. And you'll just allow yourself to get as heavy as you can to the floor. You can let your forehead come down to the floor, or maybe you're stacking your hands uh, like a stack of pancakes. Rest your head there. <sighs> Take your time. You are practicing on your back. You will have the right ankle crossing over the left thigh and perhaps the thighs to the chest. So same positioning with the body, but on the back, you're not so heavy, obviously, right? So good. So it's about three minutes once we've kind of arrived and nestled into the pose, which makes it probably about three minutes and 20 seconds. And you're doing great. <sighs> so the silence, the silence now is one where you just kind of follow your breath. And if you're practicing in a space that isn't quiet or perfectly silent, even more opportunity to practice your own inner silence. You have about a minute to go. Breathing in and breathing out. Allow your body to heavy a little bit deeper if you can. Sometimes that's the notice of letting the jaw go, shoulders. All experiences are valid. So please notice what arises for you. So it's two more breaths, my friends. So whether you're on your back or you're uh, facing the floor in your front, you come on out of the posture. <clears throat> And we're all gonna make our way back into tabletop. And once you're in tabletop, you'll stretch your right leg back behind you. You'll push the heel towards the ground and drop your chin to your chest and push back. Now engage your right quad bit here so you'll feel that muscle kind of wrap around the femur bone. You'll feel it up into the glute. It should feel like a nice release. Good. Dig your right toes into the ground a little bit. And then we'll roll forward. And um, we're going to bend the right knee and just make some nice soft circle shapes. So just a few circle shapes here. We'll keep it low. Keep going. And if you feel feeling achiness, pops or clicks. Go the opposite way now. Get some blood back in that joint. <sighs> Good. And then we'll place the right knee down. All right, from your tabletop, take a deep breath in and out. 
Good. And then we're going to step our left foot forward. So you bring your left foot forward. <clears throat> Comes by that left hand or into the outside of the left hand. And then we'll turn our back toes under and we'll start to walk our back leg a little longer. So absolutely, you know, <clears throat> think about where your pelvis is within the shape. If you feel supported in that back knee, if it doesn't, you can prop it in any way or keep the legs slightly engaged. And then <clears throat> as we come down to the floor, you can use a prop or a forearm to stay in your hands. If your wrists get tender and you have to stay on your hands here, you can always make a fist and push the knuckles into the ground. Close your eyes now, you're on the clock. <sighs> lizard, lounging lizard. <sighs> Again, coming into the silence of the shape. Silence of the shape has nothing to do with feeling the feels or large sensations really about acceptance, um, noticing and just accepting what you notice. Do make sure, especially when you're in postures for a longer time and you're working within hips, that you're not hanging in the hips too much. Not, it's not an issue for many bodies because hips are tight. If you feel a bone, a frontal hip on the right side, an anterior hip point, really dropping down into um, <clears throat> the floor, into tendon, I'm going to back that out just a bit. Good. <sighs> your eyes and find your breath. You're doing great. You've got a little over a minute to go here. So our truth changes as we go through our life. What is really true for me as opposed to what I might have thought was true before. And so within that silence is where we really can remember and tap into what is my truth now? At this season, at this age, at this stage, this environment, what is my truth now? Just a few more breaths. Drop in a little deeper if you can. Just one more. And then as you call back up to your hands, if you're low to the ground, pick the belly up and push the hips up first. And then begin to walk your hands back to straighten the left leg. And again, you can <clears throat> dig the heel in and let the bottom of the foot come off the ground. So take a few breaths here, digging the left heel in. It's about 30. 40 seconds here, not too long. So really let yourself lengthen out. <sighs> Little movements can be nice, A wiggle of the toes. But as you dig the heel in, it helps you to ignite the back of the left leg. So you can lengthen it more safely, more and safely. Long spine, heavy head. <sighs> a few more. Good. Go a little deeper now. Dig that heel in. Push back through the hips. And then walk it forward. Slide the left heel back a little bit. And then we'll go into the half pigeon. And so 
This side may require a prop or being on your back body, or maybe not. So I'm walking my heel, and then I'm gonna lean forward and bring my knee down, square my hips, and walk that back leg out. Good. And then you'll come down as close to the floor as you can in your own time. And then relax within the pose as we've got ourselves moving. Moving into the pop time. What's the last one? And of course, when your mind begins to wander, because it will, you just notice where it goes and draw it back by noticing your breath. And I'm breathing in and I'm breathing out. You're doing great. Relax your jaw, relax your brow, heavy down a little deeper. Again, absolutely, you can. Play with a little bit of movement side to side, or moving the belly, letting it draw in and drop out, moving your head. Just about a minute to go now. So then the, the poem that I'll offer at the end of practice in silence by Thomas Merton. He was an author, an extraordinary poet, a monk. And in the poem, in silence, he really, he speaks to, uh, he tells us that even the stones speak. And that if we're quiet, we're silent enough, we can hear our truth through nature. So it's just a few more breaths here. He tells us that even the stones speak, that they know who we are, and that they will tell us if we can be still enough to hear them. Good. Deep breath in. Long exhale. Good. All right, so really carefully coming from this posture, this long held pigeon, you'll Make your way back into tabletop, whether you're on your back or facing the earth. And once you're in table, place your hands really well, fingers straight wide, step the left foot back behind you, turn the toes under, dig them in, draw the chin to the chest, round your upper back here a little bit, and then engage the quads. I'm squeezing my left quad around the femur bone, and I'm going to have to use my glute here to get it. Helps get some blood back into that large muscle into the joints. We'll roll forward, left knee will come down. And then we'll just let the left knee make some circle shapes in one direction. So they don't have to be really big. And then they'll go the opposite way. Good. One more time. And the knee will come down. Cats and cows now, we start to move into our yawn practice. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chin. Exhale, round. 
Good. So keep going with your breath. The yawn practice um, is not fast um, because I don't like to teach fast. But we will move with breath. And so as you move with your own breath, in any of the classes that you take for me, never chase me with the, with the movements and never wait for me. So if you're moving really mindfully, cats and cows now, keep going, then I know that you can move your breath. You know, as I'm teaching and talking, I'm not really moving with my breath. So you shouldn't be completely following my breath, right? Because my breath is a little shorter because I'm speaking and I'm using it. The last little bit of cat and cow here. Oh, good. All right, let's turn our toes under, please. And as we turn our toes under, take your hands a little bit wider, turn the fingertips out, and then hover your uh, knees off the ground, and then drop your chin to your chest. So dig your toes in. When you look back at your feet, you have an opportunity to make sure that your toes are aligned. Good. So press the ground away a little bit more here. So now my spine is longer. My knees are bent. Pull the belly in. It's another breath. And then we'll begin to straighten the legs as best as you can. We'll take a few breaths here. You can pedal it out or just press the chest back. Whatever feels good to your back here. One more. And then you'll begin to slowly walk forward towards your hands. Take your time. And once you get towards your hands, the feet are under the hips. Inhale, halfway lift, shoulders back, belly is in. And exhale, fold. So we'll dangle here for about 10 breaths. And you can let your arms relax. You could bind your arms. You could prop your elbows. So whatever's working for you within the shape. Good. Really nice deep breath here. <sighs> and so even here within your forward fold, your dangling shape, even through the movements of yang, we come into our silence, right? Allowing our ears to widen right? so we can hear the stone speak. One more deep breath. So slowly begin to drag yourself up. You can walk your hands up or just let them slide up. Keep the chin down. Kind of unfurl your spine. We'll come all the way to stand. And once you've lifted, we'll roll our shoulders a bit. So shoulders will roll forward, up, and back. Good. You're using your breath here. Good. Keep going. You can bend the elbows or keep the arms straight. If you need to turn the head a little bit side to side, or kind of loose under the collarbones, you can do that. Good, it's a few more. You can do fast or slower. Good, as we take our next breath in, we'll hold our shoulders up. And then we'll let them go down as we breathe out. One more time, inhale, shoulders reach up as you're breathing in. When you breathe out, they go down. All right, toes come a little closer together, maybe they touch. Inhale, arms reach up overhead, a nice deep breath, reach up. As you exhale, lean to the right. You can have your hands together or separate. Pull the front ribs in, lean a little deeper. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, lean to the left, please. Good. Lean into it, belly is in. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. So, mountain pose to Dawson will be our landing spot as we move through the flow. Okay? And in your Tadasana is where you can pause for a breath or five breaths or whatever you need to feel your feet. Inhale, arms reach up overhead. Exhale, lean to the right, breathe out. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, lean to the left. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, swan up down. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, hands come down, left foot steps back for lunge. Good. 
Pressing down, inhale, arms reach up overhead. Nice deep breath. High lunge on Janayasana. Inhale. Exhale, hands come down, look forward. Step back to plank. Take a breath. Exhale, you can come knees, chest, and chin, or all the way down, or halfway down. Inhale, open your heart. So it could be baby cobra, up dog from Chaturanga, the uh, sphinx. Exhale, back to downward dog. And here you can push through half plank or full plank or child's to downward dog. Take a breath in and out. Downward dog. Good. Left foot steps forward. Pause. Take a breath. Look forward. Step to the top of your mat. Breathe in. Halfway lift. Breathe out. Fold. Inhale. Come to rise. Big breath. Reach up. Exhale to Dasana. Inhale. Arms lift. Breathe out to the right knee. Inhale, stand up tall. Breathe out, knee to left. Inhale, stand up tall. Exhale, fold. Breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, hands come down. Right foot steps back. Take a breath. Good, high lunge. And of course, you can be modified with the right knee down. Absolutely, one more breath. Exhale, hands come down, look forward, please. Use that back leg, step back to plank. Inhale to the top. Exhale, halfway down, all the way, or knees, chest and chin. Exhale, downward dog. Good. <clears throat> right foot steps forward. Look forward, belly in. Step to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Breathe in. Come all the way up. Reach up. Look up. Exhale, hands to heart, Tadasana. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, right. Inhale, up. Exhale, left. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, left one steps back for lunge. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, hands down. Step back to plank. Take a breath. Knees, chest, chin, chaturanga. Breathe in, heart opens. Exhale to downward dog. Good. Left foot steps forward. Right foot steps forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Tadasana. So you know the pattern now. If you'd like to speed it up or slow the pace, then you should. All right? We have several more rounds from Tadasana. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, knees to the right. Inhale, stand up, lean to the left. Inhale, stand up, exhale, swan dive down. Breathe in, halfway lift, exhale, hands come down. Good. Right foot steps back. <laughs> Inhale, high crescent lunge, deep breath. Good. Exhale, hands come down to the earth, step back to plank. Take a breath. Exhale, carry it down your way, lift your heart. Exhale, downward dog. Good. Right foot forward. Left foot steps forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come to rise. Big breath, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, lean to the right. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, lean to the left. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, swan up down. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Left foot steps back for lunge. High lunge. Exhale, hands come down. You can always skip the vinyasa too if you'd like. You just push back to downward dog or play and plank if you'd like. Good. 
We'll meet in downward dog. <sighs> Good. Left foot steps forward. Pause. Step to the top of your mat. Breathe in halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, arms reach up. Lean to the right. Inhale, stand up. Lean to the left. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, swan dive down. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Good. <clears throat> right foot steps back. High crescent lunge, inhale. When you're ready, you exhale, hands come down, look forward, step back to plank. Take a breath. Exhale, carry it down your way. Downward dog. Good. Take a breath and down dog. Step forward. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up, big breath. Exhale, hands to heart. It's our last round here. Inhale, arms reach up. Lean to the right. Stand up tall. Breathe out, lean to the left. Inhale, look up. Exhale, swan up down. Practice with your eyes closed. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, left foot steps back. High crescent lunge, breathe in. Exhale, hands go down, breathe out. Step back to plank. Inhale. Exhale, carry down your way. Downward dog. Good. Take a breath. Good. Your right foot steps forward. Bring it forward. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart to dasana. Breathe in, arms reach up. Breathe out, lean to the right. Inhale, stand up, lean to the left. Eyes are closed, inhale, reach up. Exhale, swan dive down. Breathe in, halfway lift. Hands come down, right foot steps back from lunge. On the inhale, high crescent lunge. Good, hands come down, step back to plank. Take a breath, exhale, inhale. Exhale, downward dog. Take a breath. Good. Left foot steps forward. Right foot steps to meet it. Take it wide, feet are wide. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. So let yourself sway around to your little bit side to side. Eyes are closed. Good. You'll inhale and halfway lift. Good. Exhale, fold again. Feet are wide. Toes turn out. Drop down into your squat. Good. So just take a deep breath here in. And exhale out. One more from your squat. Good, lengthen your tailbone. Take a gentle turn to the right. You just turn your right ribs back behind you. If you want something larger, you could extend the right arm behind you or left hand to the floor. Come back to the center, take a breath, long spine. And then we'll turn to the left. Just get a little, it's gonna be a, a twist, a rotation of the spine. Or, Something larger and cropped. Good. Come back to the center, take a breath. Good. And then slowly you'll come down to your back. So come to your seat and then roll down to your back. Once you're down on your back, you'll pull your knees into your chest and give them a hug. And your arms will go out to the side in a cactus shape or T-shaped arm. And then your knees are gonna to drop to the right. Put your right hand place on top of the left hip or thigh or knee or shin even. 
And we'll take a few breaths here. Hug the low belly in a little bit. Knees come back to the center. Get your spine right, shoulder blades down the back, and the knees drop to the left. You can use your left hand on top of the knee or the shin or at the hip. Your gaze could be up or to the right. <sighs> One more deep breath. Feel that breath move into the belly, sides of the belly. <sighs> Back to the center, please. You'll pull the knees into the chest. Extend your feet up towards the sky. Point and flex your feet a little bit. Move around your ankles. Just a couple more breaths here. The knees come down and happy baby. So you can just let the knees pull out wide with the feet soft. Or if you really prefer a full position of happy baby, you can grab the outside of the feet and then lift the feet up towards the ceiling. But as long as you feel that this is the last um, posture, yang posture before Shavasana. Okay. So find your, your happy baby that serves you. Good. So allow your ears to really widen here. If you hear the movement of your breath, you might notice more the beat of your heart. This is a poem by Thomas Merton called In Silence. Called In Silence. Be still. Listen to the stones of the wall. Be silent. They try to speak your name. Listen to the living walls. Who are you? Who are you? Whose silence are you? Who, be quiet, are you as these stones are quiet? Do not think of what you are, still less what you may one day be. Rather, be what you are, but who? Be the unthinkable one you do not know. Oh, be still. While you are still alive and all things live around you, speaking, I do not hear, to your own being, speaking by the unknown that is in you and in themselves. I will try, like them, to be my own silence, and this is difficult. The whole world is secretly on fire. The stones burn, even the stones, they burn me. How can a man be still or listen to all things burning? How can he dare to sit with them when all their silence is on fire? whole world secretly on fire. Take a deep breath and have your legs come down to the earth now. You can stretch your legs out long or have your feet just placed on the earth with your knees up, knocking in towards each other or separate. Allow your jaw to fully relax. Allow your eyes to soften, whether they're open or closed. Swallow to relax the muscles of your throat. Allow your inner ears to drop.
If we can be still enough, that if is everything. If we can be still enough, we might hear the stones speak our own true nature, the name that is ours with a capital N. As you, as we all, live in this opportunity of more silence. Allow yourself to be more present, more aware with very open inner ears and open inner heart. You're welcome to stay on your back and in Shavasana for as long as you are able I encourage it. or you can choose to come to seated. If you're on your back, however, you will bring one hand to your heart or both. And if you roll to seated, you'll bring both hands to your heart. And we'll take this moment to end our practice honoring each other, our practice and our time. The light me season honors the light me each of you. Thank you so much for being here. Namaste. Have a great rest of your day. I'm going to shut the recording off now and stay for questions if anyone has them.